Oh, he's gone. He's g <laughs> He's got bored. He's like, you know what? I'm not even bothering with this job anymore. Do we need more security staff or something? Oh, he's reappeared. Maybe it's just a shift change. We're going to have the same problem here, aren't we? With this whole uh, tilt tray thing. Look, immediately, look what happens. So then you have to get rid of the junctions. That's got to be a bug. And then you have to put the tilt tray in. Yeah, that's pretty certain that's a bug. And then you have to set it to not. Uh, to schedule flights, press F, and then uh, change the day that you want to schedule for, which reminds me I need to get another contract, because we're wrecking contracts. Um, let's go and get a procurement. No, contracts. Swiftly, 7,715 flights in two days. Yeah, I think we can do that. Uh, Striper. 14 flights in three days. Yeah, we can do that. So, we want swiftly. Uh, yeah, we're in positive money again now. Although it's gone back down again because of the uh, current investment. I just hope that our baggage handling bay can actually cope with all of these bags. That's my main concern. Okay, all these flights have to go out today, I think. I really wish it didn't pop up with all this stuff. Very distracting. See, I just saw Pat. I could just see the cues to the runway. Thursday, Friday. Striper. <laughs> Bagger can support up to four gates. In that case, we're on the limit, which means if we build any more gates, then we're going to need a separate baggage bay. Okay, that takes us to Friday. Right, so set that to non. Non, non. Okay, right, non, 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 non. What's that? Is that supposed to be one? That's weird.
Check the belt between old and new. Check in needed as tilted. Check the belt between old and new. Check in needed as tilted. Well, the arrow's going the correct way. This is the thing. That one is like that one. Okay, two of those, and we'll build a queue. This is where I really wish it would let you configure one of these and then just duplicate it. Because all of these are going to be identical. is because they were at the end of the queue when you built them. I think so. It's something weird like that. That's four operational gates. We'll leave the other ones for now. At least the queuing is uh, is better in this game than Sim Airport. Although, what on earth? Like, why they're all queuing up in one gate, I don't know. Probably need to put some more doors down here too. Right, um... Door. Cool. We've got this for security as well. Put some more security scanners in once the queues get too big. Uh, you should make more doors into the airport. I just did. Uh, there's only one checking desk open for that flight. Yeah, I don't know why. Seems to be a very big flight. Seventy-three thousand in the positive, but we're losing money for some reason. I don't know why. Need more shops, I think. Make more money. Of course, it's going to get very interesting when we need another cargo bay, which we're going to need if we ever want more of these gates because we have four of them already so another cargo bay and another baggage claim that's just got like where the heck am i gonna put that need more airport stuff to work the checking desk i think i just already hired a bunch of them didn't i it's one of the first things i did airport staff Like, we've got all of them. We've got tons of them. Oh my god, I keep this on the wrong bottom.
Cargo bay is not needed. It's most of the baggage checks. Really? What, so you can get away with just having one of these? Surely there's going to be too many bags to be picked up at some point. A space for a baggage bay, or here. Look at this mass exodus. All these workers that I sacked and then all the buses, all the school buses turned up. <laughs> Look at this. We just like, get out. So when you say it's most of the baggage checks, are you basically saying that it's all this stuff? Not this. So I can I can always have one of these, but I need more of these. Is that what you're saying? Because when you connect these things, everything that you connect through always links to this. How deep the logistics run do you check in the gates, only do specific flight companies, and making sure they're connected to the cargo bay that these are right plane or that and all thing. Uh, you can... What? No. What you do is, you connect the check-in desks to specific cargo bays. Uh, so they can only be connected to one. So then the bags need to be routed to that cargo bay. And then you also connect the stand to the cargo bay as well. So that links to two things. And then the cargo bay finally has to route baggage to a baggage claim area but you can have more than one of these um it gets complex but not quite that complex it kind of automates some of it it figures out how to get things there if you tell it the connections if that makes sense you said the cargo bay is not working most of the time true Whenever I see that, I always think something's on fire. Every time. One of the things I was going to do was bring in... Um, small commercial gates. And to do that, I have to connect them with... Sidewalks, apparently? But I'm not really sure where I want to build those. So you can have one baggage handling place. It, it sounds like it. Seems weird to me that one place like this can handle everything. I mean, we could fit another cargo bay here. Security's okay. Do you remember in Sim Airport, security checkout was just a nightmare. Like, the queuing was broken. Uh, if, you, if you made a queue, it would go wrong. If you didn't, they'd all stand on top of each other seems to work a bit better. This is um this is getting used quite a bit. All buying coffees and stuff. Chilling out before security. One cargo bay is definitely good for four medium stands. Well that's what it's running at the moment. But the question is if I wanted to build say four more stands what would I need to do in terms of the baggage handling? Uh, helipads, I don't think so, Zinnum. Good night, Trond. I wonder if it's possible to make a proper airport with general aviation planes only. Um, I don't know. I don't see why not. Like, we're back up to 100,000 positive money again now. After being 170 in debt at one point. Uh, delete. Delete. What's Frankie the scumbag up to? I can almost guarantee he's sat in his... Oh, he's actually working, though. I can't find anything to do, he says. Strategy director. Who's this? And the, this, and the coup. 
Where's my financial officer? Uh, Alfie's good night. Would it work to add the small stand on the other side of your building? I don't want to because there's not much space here. And I want to kind of expand the terminal a bit. I don't know. I mean, it, I can't really add medium gates here. We could possibly add the small gate. Then we'd have to taxi them away around here. And then have this massive taxi. To here. So it's possible. It's possible to do that. We could perhaps, um, I don't know how big is it, hang on. Small stand would look like that. Thing is, the small stand actually has a road on it. What did it say if you want to be commercial? Needs an attached boarding desk to enable commercial flights. Okay. So it has to be connected to the... How does this work? So looking at that, it actually has a road. Or a service road. For the baggage. Also, if I build a taxiway around there, I stop any more building. I can't expand the terminal that way anymore. And you can't build a bridge. That was the one thing that was missing in some airport as well. The concept where you could... You could have a road and then, you know, passengers going over the top of the road. Um, X3, 75 bits. Here the rest of my bits just because you're a great streamer. Yes, my name is Epic Gamer. Uh, Epic Gamer, thank you, bro. It didn't pop up because it was 75 and it only makes a noise at 100. But much appreciated. Thank you. James, hello, Paul. How you doing? Uh, do you know IRL, IR, IRL Stein? If so, are you a fan of his? The other night I had a dream that was shooting people, catching on fire and buildings on fire, and I had to help the sheriff. <laughs> Sounds like a random dream. I don't know IRL, RL Stein. Uh, Brandox, Brandon, Brandon, I can't even say your name. Brandon, <laughs> welcome. If you attach to checking desk, do they work? People walk the other way to them. So Millport is getting a bridge because I saw people getting on a second floor. Uh, code 4, my brain's been shutting down since 1 o'clock this afternoon, bro. Uh, I don't think I want to build stands here because it's going to restrict things. And I have to build a taxiway across there. I cannot build this way anymore. So that puts me off. I'd rather keep this for terminal access. Um, the question then is, how do you... I don't know. I don't know how you do it. I do not know how you do it. How do you have commercial small stuff? I guess you'd have to build them on this side, along with the mediums, and just connect them in this way. Uh, you don't really buy more land at the moment, Big Papa. It's not possible. What you do is you edit the save file. Yeah, but if I build a new terminal, I've got to build checking desks, baggage handling, like everything's got to be built. At the moment, I can get away with expanding this one for a bit.
Well, we could build a new terminal for the small stuff. We'd have to build it like here or something. Good night, Zinnum. Train to a new set of departure gates. Haven't got a train yet. There is no train in the game at the moment. Day is gone. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Okay, we're all good for now. Let's um let's expand its foundation a bit. Operations deploy. Uh, Calling all contractors. Actually, you know what? Before I do that, I'm going to test a theory. We're going to test that theory. We're going to build the road. Down the side there. And then we're going to build another one of those loading sites. Okay. Hmm. I want to build to here. Don't know if that's going to work. Let's put a loading site here. I want to see if they drop materials off here to build the foundation there. That's what I want to see. I want to see how it works. Okay, in come the workers. Goosebump series. Don't remember that. Mr. Kinducci, how you doing, bro? I don't know if you saw any of my racing earlier, Kiduchi, but it was uh it was it was good, then terrible, then okay. <laughs> Had a rough day, man. Got beat up on the track. I assume they'll build the road before they start building this. When ads couldn't be away, Apache. Just smile, Apache, and think to yourself, hey, I'm supporting my favorite streamer by watching ads. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? We'll leave that wall in, otherwise this secure area will suddenly go full on rip. And they turn around. Sounds great in CC, this advert supports Twitch. <laughs> well, it supports both, technically. They get revenue, stream against revenue. Same with YouTube. Oh wow, this is a bit packed. I think we may need a bigger staff room. 
You can move them to here. Let's get a bit, bit cosy in there. Why is the chat so quiet, Hero Juicy? It always happens this time of night, to be fair. If I'm playing this kind of game, people just chill out. Stop sacking people. I think we can do that anyway. I quite like having that staff room, though, but it kind of gets in the way of the baggage plan. And I can't build it anywhere out here. I mean, we could, in theory... Does it even make sense to have a staff room here? See, they're not really using this one. Now, there's people in it, but not many. This one gets oh, used a yeah, lot yeah. more. Benjamin Stubbs, thank you for the bits and hey. Exactly. It's a relaxing time. I think we'll build a... Build a wall, chuck a door on it. Some are playing the game and watching. That's fair enough. Twitch just gets a bit more revenue. Eternal Pilot, what do you mean? Well, Twitch probably just take a fat cut of the money. <laughs> Nobody knows how much they take, that's the thing. Um, items. They seem to like the comfy armchairs, although they are sitting on the sofas as well. Let's give them... I really wish we had tables and coffee machines. Seats down that side. Some sofas down here. New staff room. Currently playing this game and quite frankly I'm about to go mad. <laughs> so you're making a lounge for first class passengers. It's brilliant. So it's a new expanded staff room. They're going to be so happy with it. I love the little staff door. This one here. It's brilliant. Uh, only Dutch games dog. Love support you but I can't afford. Love, uh, don't worry dude. It's fine. It's fine. Honestly. You support if you're willing and able. You're not able, so that's cool. Right, we can probably sack a whole bunch of staff again now we've built that. Oh, one, one. Let's go for... Let's get rid of 70 of them, leave 30. That should do it. Well, I'm kind of waiting for it to be built, and then I'm going to zone it. Uh, Bazman, thank you for the resume, Bazman. Yeah, I mean, Heyman, that's the thing. The amount of game, de the amount of detail in this game, considering it's early access, uh, is pretty astounding. Like, they could have released this months ago and just gone, not implemented, not implemented. Uh, Dr. D, you don't need a secure area here. This is a staff area. Secure area is this side of security. 
So all I need to do now is say this is a staff room. And people should start moving in. I want to kick them out of here, which I will do shortly. Once that's complete. Uh, Alpha Meridius, good night. You've got rooms for separate ones. <laughs> Well, what I've done in, in my uh, office is, is I've given myself one room here for Frankie to come back. CEO's got his own space. And then basically all the other ones just share this room. Yeah, so we, we allow, you know, CIO can go in here when we have one. HR can go in here. And they're just room share. They're not, they don't all work at the same time anyway, apparently. Okay, so all the workers are in here. So what we do now is we dezone that. There's a staff room. Get out, you lot. Look, we're moving the plants. You need to get out. Once they get up from a chair, I'm destroying it. <laughs> Oh, they're not taking the hint, are they? Okay, we're taking up the carpet. Get out. <laughs> no, there's no windows at the moment, Harry Bo. Not that I can find. Okay, it's already a staff room. Right then. So what can we have down here? Probably food courts and shops and things, I guess. We can put more security along here. Just a line of security right there. <clears throat> Probably need to build a wall here so we can do that. Yeah, I guess I'll add windows later. Was well, this kind of game work in a train situation? I don't think a train station is quite complex enough. I don't know. With a train, you need to manage the tracks and stuff. Have Airport CEO come back to you about coming on stream again? Uh, I think they're massively busy at the moment, Code 4, but... I can definitely get in contact with the guy. I'll give him a few weeks and then get in contact with him. I think he's he's got a tremendous amount on his plate right now. I think the game sold a lot more copies than they were thinking it would. And a lot of critical bugs came out of it. And they're just flat out trying to deal with it. So if I start saying, hey, do you want to come on a stream? He'd be like, no, not now. Okay, walls going in. All right, security checkpoint. Must be placed inside of a secure zone. This is a faff. See, technically, that's not a secure zone. Oh, yeah. 
that has to go to here. Bit chicken and egg this because I need to destroy this wall. Which kind of makes that not a secure zone because people go, oh, hey, I could just go straight this way. Come on, get rid of the wall. You hate to go on security 15 times a day of staff. I'll bet you did. See, look, people just queue up even though they can walk around security. Like a glove. Look at that. That's some big queue. You can kind of tell I need more security from that queue. That's going to make people late. We have to think about another bus terminal as well. Uh, I'll give you till the airport. Mine isn't working. I need inspiration. Uh, okay. Check-in area. So this is like check-in area, but these are disabled at the moment. So, expansion possibilities. Uh, bus drop-off point. People come through these doors here. Check in. They can, if they want to, go to the bathroom, which is here. This is all staff. They can't get into there. So this is the bathroom here. Uh, they can go this way, which is either security or food. So they go there if they want a coffee or something. Having gone through security, they can then go shopping get some more food, go to the bathroom, uh, or go to the, the gate number, which is one of these, one, two, three, four, four gates. So that's what the passengers basically do. When they come back out, they come through this one-way bit into baggage claim, which is this belt, and then go through those doors, out, get the bus, or car pickup. This is the staff room, so this is all zoned for staff. This is where the um, the high and mighty hang out. This is the baggage claim area. This is the old staff room, even though there are staff still in it. Which needs to be removed. Uh, this is baggage handling through here. So all the baggage comes through here, gets scanned, destroyed, goes to the cargo bay, at which point it's then taken to the plane. And then from a runway perspective, uh, the fuel is down here. GA stands are there. So light aircraft here, heavy aircraft here. And then it's all taxiways and there's three main runways. There's a there's this one, which is the departure runway. There's this one, which is the arrival. And then there's this one, which just deals with GA aircraft. So GA have their own little runway and the big guns have their own arrival departure. Then they all taxi over here to the stand. Jobs are good. So now we have 220,000 in the bank. So we're back in positive money again. And right now we need to build more shops and things. I think we'll start off by getting rid of that wall there. You need a lot more security guards. Uh, yeah, we will for this lot, yeah. To man all those things, yeah, you're right. Nope. Not hiring you, dude. Yeah, we'll hire you. How many guests have you got in the apartments? Uh, what do you mean?
Uh, how do you get the baggage to work? <sighs> Trial and error. <laughs> the baggage system is... Try and keep it simple, basically. You want one belt, which all the bags drop into from the check-in. It then goes underground. And then it comes along here, turns, pops back up. At which point it goes through scanners. Uh, anything that gets rejected goes on that belt and gets destroyed. Having got through the scanners, it goes into the cargo bay. That's it. That's all you need. In terms of coming back out again, you go out of the cargo cargo bay, go underground, you pop up and drop into a, a very simple loop. And that's it. Just simple as that. Nothing complex, but it works. Blimey, look at this queue of people here trying to get a coffee. What the heck? Look at the look at the queue. Look at that. I've never seen a queue for coffee like that before. Are those people uh, you're hiring? Real people who actually work for the company in this game? What? I don't. I don't think so. They're just made up faces. I love the way there's like multiple open securities and they all just queue up in the same one. It just makes no sense. What I did like about Sim Airport, if I remember, you could build a queue, like you can basically build multiple queues and then assign the endpoint to multiple stations. So you could have one queue here and then say that queue is for any one of these three. And if any is available, they'll go to it, which is a better model than this. because there's no way of sharing a queue between uh, objects in this one. Oh, we need some more food courts here. So I'm going to have a gap. I'll have a gap, though. Let's see. Shop or food? Food. That's a bit boring. You need four security guards by checkpoint. Yeah, well, I've hired as many as I can. Just wait for more to appear. Mm, okay. Not the best selection, but it'll do. Okay, let's see. Food. Cafe counter. Actually, thinking about it. We put two of these there in one room. Will that work? Bet it will, you know. Seems weird to have the staff there, though. Hmm. 
we'll, we'll rejig it next time. Something's delaying flights. Uh, do you need to make money as a sandbox without limitation? Uh, it's sandbox, but I'm playing it as if it's not. And it's it's going okay. We went overdrawn by about 160,000 at one point. I think we started off with quite a lot of money, though. Started off with like 2 million, maybe. Um, but I'm not treating it as, you know, sandbox in that respect. Cafe counter. displays One of your food courts is not out. Uh, it's not open. This one. Good spot. Uh, Valentino. Hip Hop Cafe, 138. That's annoying. I have to be Swift Veg again. <laughs> this one will be bigger. Trying to think how many seats we want. Even though that doesn't really have any seats, but it seems to function okay. That one has seats. Okay, let's see what kind of contract we can get out of that, and then we'll decide. On a contract. Cafe fridge, 20 out of 6. split this into two actually let's try this so if we do that yes and then we go Interesting. That's an interesting way of doing it. Nice. <laughs> Rob Jensen, thank you for the raid, dude. Welcome, welcome. And Mr. Rubku, how you doing, guys? Actually, we should give these guys a different uh, floor cover. Because they are... I think it goes to there, doesn't it? Oh, 
Put some sofas in here. Relaxed eating. There we go. Cement bolt or this? It's a tough, tough question. I'd probably edge towards this one. They both got their own unique features. We appear to have enough stuff. Security is not quite full. As well as showing the price, it should sell the basic stats here. Or like a rating or something. Total revenue. 400,000 revenue out of this. Look at this. Unbelievable. That has brought so much money in. Nice. It's working pretty well. Apart from the buses. Probably need another bus depot. Uh, does it need a higher spec than some airport? I'm not sure. Oh, you know what? I, I really have had enough of that guy. I, I've endured the entire day. I've endured... Like, right from the very first part of this stream. I've had that... Uh, what's his name? Right from the start of this stream, I had that, that Kunkel Josh guy. Okay. I've had Kunkel Josh just come in saying this guy shouldn't be allowed to drive. That was the first that was his first line. This guy shouldn't be allowed to drive. And then all day he's just been like massively salty going. Why not play my summer car? This game is rubbish. Play my summer car. I'm going. I'm not watching this rubbish game. Then he comes back. Are you still playing this? This game's rubbish. So, you know what, dude? Hasta la vista. Airport. See you later. I've had enough of you. Can't be bothered. Right. Um, bus stop. Bus stop. Let's go this way, I think. We could, in theory, put one like that. I'm not sure if it's a good idea, though. I'm going to try it for science. And then we're going to build... We're going to build a road... through... Is that a good idea? Maybe. And then we're going to build a sidewalk through that. And then some more light poles down. What happened to your eyebrows? I have no idea. What happened to my eyebrows? As far as I'm aware, nothing. Yep, they're still here. <laughs> 